understand what the daily beast has done. And when I said, you know, in the, in the title of this, that the daily beast wants to kill me, I'm not being hyperbolic. I'm reporting the actual truth. I mean, how do you look at it any other way? How can somebody be so irresponsible and stupid and arrogant as to think that somebody who is in a war zone, in a regime that actively targets its own people, journalists, mayors, members of its own parliament, I mean, even MMA fighters, for crying out loud, who say the wrong thing, how can they be so blind, so arrogant, so irresponsible as to say, oh, you know, there's this guy over there, we don't like him. No, because he says things that we don't like, that we don't agree with. And so we want you, SBU, to do our dirty work for us. You know, the author of this piece, or anybody working for the Daily Beast, I'm not going to say anything intemperate. Hmm? I want to. Oh, badly. <laughs> you better believe it. But I'm not going to say anything intemperate. What I'm going to say is, you are responsible if anything happens to me. And I want everyone to know that the Daily Beast, as an organization, the editors and the individuals who work for it, every single one, are responsible for it. Because if in the West they are applying collective responsibility and blaming all Russians, cursing all Russians for this conflict that's going on, and if they automatically lionize every Ukraine, no matter how low, no matter how criminal, just because they happen to be in this situation, then that means that they believe in collective responsibility. Fine. You want to play that game of collective responsibility? Let's take it a step further. You, Daily Beast, as an organization, you who work for the Daily Beast, you who wrote this hit piece, and every single...